How's it going to do that? Oh, there we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Alvarez and you should totally subscribe if you haven't already. Let me give you a little backstory. Currently I'm at Disney World, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, but the reason I'm here is because in 10th grade I was in choir at my high school and the choir took a trip to Disney World and we we're doing a live performance in Epcot for Christmas called the Candlelight Processional. They do it every year at Disney World and it's super fun. Now I'm currently a sophomore in college at the University of Alabama, but my younger sister Carolina is in choir and they were taking a trip to Disney World this year to do the candlelight processional so me being the great big brother I am I wanted to come and support her and I wanted to come watch her perform live in Disney World so I planned on coming to Disney World I told a bunch of people that I was going to Disney World with them I did all of my finals with school early to where I could have time to come to Disney World come to find out only a couple days before the trip they aren't doing a live performance anymore because of COVID which defeated the whole purpose of me driving to Disney World but me being the stubborn, hard-headed person I am, I was like, no, I already told people I was going to Disney World. I already did all the stuff so I could go to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. But then I didn't have anybody to go with because I was going separate from the choir because if I went with them, it would be a lot more expensive and it was just financially smarter for me to go by myself. So yeah. Anyways, now I'm at Disney World by myself because I'm stubborn and I told myself I would go to Disney World. So in today's video, I'm just going to be going to all the parks that I can and I'm going to prove to myself and to y'all that it is possible to have fun at Disney World by yourself. You don't have to come with a group of friends. If I can do it, you can do it. So anyways, it is currently 1030 in the morning and we are starting off this beautiful Orlando, Florida day by going to Blizzard Beach Water Park. Super excited. I haven't been to a water park since this summer and it's December. So that's super awesome. I don't feel like turning the camera down, but I have my bathing suit on and here at the water park. So let's get started. Every time I turn the camera on, the entire world just decides to make the loudest noise they possibly can. Helicopter, music, people screaming. I think this is better lighting. I'm here at the water park now, and as usual, I have my underwater camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this, and we're gonna have some fun. my time at Blizzard Beach. It was super fun. I enjoyed it. But now it is 1224. So, oh, sorry whoever's car that is. So, I'm putting socks and shoes on. Do y'all remember what I said at the beginning of the video? As soon as I start recording, people start talking. Helicopters start flying. Everybody just wants to make noise. Anyways, I got my Air Forces on. I'm gonna put in some leave-in conditioner. So I don't want, ow, freak, that hurt. I think I just ripped every follicle of hair out of my head. I think I'm good to go. And we're off to Hollywood Studios now. I think what I'm gonna do is since I'm going to all the parks tonight, I'm gonna go to Hollywood Studios because I have to go there because that's where I have my reservations and I can't go anywhere else until two o'clock. I'm gonna go Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, because Epcot closes last. And then after that, I'll go to Disney Springs and I'll meet up with my friend Kendra because she's actually coming in tonight. After Magic Kingdom closes, it's absolute chaos because Magic Kingdom is the main park. And so everybody's trying to get out of there at the same time and it's just absolute chaos. So what I think I'm gonna do is instead of driving to Hollywood Studios and driving to Animal Kingdom and then driving to Magic Kingdom and then Epcot. I think I'm gonna go to Epcot, park there, and then just get on a bus and go from Epcot to Hollywood Studios and then just ride buses. And then at the end of the night, whenever I end up at Epcot, I can just get out and leave with my car and I get to avoid all the traffic. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's only an eight minute drive to Epcot. Sounds good to me. Y'all, I'm so hungry. I wanted to get food here in Blizzard Beach, but there's a pizza place in Hollywood Studios that I really like to go to, so. So that's where I'm gonna go. <laughs> This 
this is literally my favorite Disney park ever. I love how this place looks. I love the music. I love the rides. It's so much fun. I ended up waiting almost an entire hour for that bus because what I didn't take into account was that you aren't allowed to park hop until two o'clock. And so I was like, okay, that's fine because my reservation is for Hollywood Studios. But no, it wasn't fine because that meant I couldn't park hop. I couldn't travel there. So I had to wait. So now it's already 1.50 and I'm just now getting to Hollywood Studios. So we're a little bit behind schedule, but we can still make it work. Thank you so much. All right, I went to Catalina Eddie's to get lunch. I got a pizza, I got a Caesar salad. I got three cups of water. There's one more down there. It's a hot day outside. It is 84 degrees and it's December 12th, 84 degrees. And I'm stupid. I wore jeans and a sweatshirt. I'm currently melting. I'm gonna save the croutons for the end because they're my favorite. See, look at all these people I'm getting to pass because I'm in single rider. I feel like a celebrity right now. Well, can you go check out this time, please? All these little things here. Hi. Have to be a case for your safety. Please make sure there's nothing in your hands. The little ride that does include recording devices. Heading over to the other big one, Tower of Terror. Welcome, everyone. Then this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Welcome, everyone, to the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Galaxy's Edge and I'm gonna try and ride the Rise of the Resistance ride. It's one of the newer rides, so there's always a massive wait time. And I only have probably another hour here on the park, so hopefully I'll be able to ride it and stay on schedule. I love this style of cartoon so much. It feels very nostalgic to me, even though I didn't like live in that time period. Whenever the cartoons and stuff are like that, it just makes me feel like a little kid again. It's a Oh, I have my, I have my business 
We will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. You have what I want. And I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. I see more over there. We gotta get over to Animal Kingdom. Done with Hollywood Studios for the day. I'm completely lost, so I have no idea where I am. So I'm gonna get on a bus and I'm gonna go to Animal Kingdom. Ride Everest a few times. There's not enough time to ride Pandora. They gotta get to Everest, ride it a few times, and then we're gonna hop over to Magic Kingdom, ride a few things, and then we're gonna watch the great fireworks show, and that'll be it for the night. I love Hollywood Studios so much. I think it's the prettiest place ever. Freaking love it. Love the neon lights, love the people. I just love like the golden age of Hollywood vibe. You know what I mean? So I just got off the bus and we're at Animal Kingdom now. And I'm gonna play a fun game. I posted on my Instagram story for people to give me a bunch of pose requests to do for the picture on Expedition Everest. And I'm gonna ride it as many times as I can and see how many poses I can do before the park closes in 44 minutes. First I'll have to get to Expedition Everest. So. Also my camera battery's about to die and my extra battery's already dead. So I, I really hope I'm gonna be able to make it the rest of the night. We still have to go to Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Disney Springs. All right, y'all, here we go. Magic Kingdom. By the way, the Expedition Everest pictures with the poses from my Instagram story went wonderful. Loved it. Great time. Fireworks are already going off, as you can see. Animal Kingdom ended up closing a whole hour after I thought it did, so I had plenty of extra time to do some extra poses, but then I lost track of time because I was having so much fun. And so now I'm late to watch the fireworks, which are going off right now, as I mentioned earlier. But it's okay. We're here at Magic Kingdom finally, last park of the day. Don't think I'm gonna go to Epcot. I've already been to Epcot like twice on this trip. I just gotta get in this park, watch the fireworks shows, and then we can call it a day. <laughs> so mad right now. This is such a good day. Disney World is supposed to be a magical place full of happiness and it was. I had such a great day up until this point. I got on the bus from Animal Kingdom to Magic Kingdom so I could watch the big firework show with the grand finale at Magic Kingdom because Magic Kingdom is like known for their firework shows. Well apparently I rode 
Everest one too many times doing poses with other people. That's my fault. Anyways, I rode the bus from Animal Kingdom to Magic Kingdom. The park closed at eight, but the fireworks show starts at eight. So if you're inside the park, even though the park closes if you're inside the park you get to like stay in and watch fireworks show but if you're outside the park you can't get in after eight i get there with barely enough time to get into the park and i get off the bus and i start walking towards the gates there's so many people trying to get into the park obviously the park's about to close and it's like the huge fireworks show if you've been to disney world before you know that there's no lines like getting into the park. It's just globs of people going in. There's no like defined single file line. Everybody's kind of making their way up to the entrance. I finally like made it up. I thought it was my turn to like get into the park or whatever. And there was still enough time for me to get in before eight o'clock. So anyways, I go to like scan my magic band and get into the park and I see this lady. I can hear her like saying something to me, but kind of far away, there's a lot of people talking and she has a mask on, so I can't really hear what she's saying. So I like stopped what I was doing and I like went over to her and I like squatted down. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I kid you not, she looked at me and she was like, I've been with that group that's in front of you and they're already in the park, so I don't know how you got in front of me. And so I looked at her and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, by all means, go ahead. And then she looked at me and she said, I will. And then scooted on up. And then she got in the park. Then I go to scan my magic band to get into the park. Park's closed. I don't get in. And when I think about it, I shouldn't have popped off like that. And I should have turned the other cheek and been nice to that lady and kind to that lady. And if you're that lady watching right now, I'm so sorry that I popped off at you like that. But why'd you pop up at me? I literally like did not even know didn't even know that I was cutting in front of you I'm so sorry, but Don't pop off at me like that. I didn't get in the park I didn't get to watch the fireworks show So I took my butt and I rode the monorail back to the parking lot and now I'm back in my car I guess that's the end of my day and the end of my day in Disney World So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video If you like the video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to comment subscribe down below because that would just be awesome And as always Jesus loves you. Hope you had a great day. Thanks for watching the video. Jesus loves you. See you in the next video. Peace out